is that five sets of 10 at, I don't know, 60%, 50%, whatever, is more work than you just going straight home. Right. You know, so sometimes, you know, you gotta, it's a, and that's a mindset to adopt. Don't yeah. get so bent out of shape because, oh man, you know, I could only get three sets of benching. It's better than just going home and not having come in and worked out, but also making the most out of your time. You know, me coming in here for three sets of 10 and just slinging around the bar, come yeah. on now, you know? Like put some put some weight on it, put some intensity into it. You yeah. know, some volume is already being picked up on three by ten. Yeah. But I don't know. You know, just not letting it get bent out of shape. You yeah. Know? But better you came here and did something for twenty minutes than going home and doing nothing. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So I don't know. That's that's my take on it. Yeah. But like I said, that that was a gym one other thing from back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, boring but big. And like I said, you know. And sometimes he even wrote, "You just come in, you do your five three one work." You yeah. Know? That was it. You do your do your fives. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was three sets, 60, 70, 80 percent. You know, you hit a set of five. Mm -hmm. That was it. You go home. Hmm. You know. So yeah, I don't know. You know, teach your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. We're rolling. What are we doing? We're All right. We hey. All right. Are you sure? I heard it click. We are, let me double check. We are rolling. Yeah. Right. Welcome back again. Maybe. For the third oh, we time, got the thumbs time? up. Uh, third or fourth time. Third or fourth time. Uh, oh shit! I gotta get. It's fact over fitness, brother, brother. So I gotta get my shit out. Here it is. <laughs> 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 nice. <laughs> All right. We are on it today. Yeah, we are, man. Got that early morning energy. Let me tell you. Um, shout out to our producer, Jody. He's doing good work today. Good job, dude. Um, much much appreciated. Absolutely. But hey. Behind, it, behind the scenes that gets this thing going. It yeah. It keeps it going. Absolutely. I tell you what, man. Like, as someone who does the behind the scenes regularly, like, that's my day job is do the behind the scenes work. I much prefer having someone else do it. <laughs> and you do a great job. But now it's time for Fact Over Fitness, brought to you by, should we do a real sponsor this time? I was going to say, we've done, we've done bullshit sponsors, let's do a real one. Lady Juice Beard Oil, that's right, here we go, zoom in on this bad boy right here. Lady Juice Beard Oil and Beard Bombs are the best beard oil and bombs for you. You have a beard, you want it to look glistening, delicious, beautiful, smell amazing, how do you do it? Use this company right here. <laughs> All right. I have Pound Town, which is my smell flavor of choice. It's kind of a flavor. I mean, it, yeah, gets, it I, gets in your mouth. I say a flavor bit. Uh, just because of, uh, you know, habit, but scent profile, whatever. Yeah. Uh, but I say flavor. Absolutely. It smells great. It is made without any of the weird chemical y stuff. It, it is just, it is natural ingredients. And I have to tell you, when I first started, with a mustache, it was wiry. It was it was rough. It, it wasn't it wasn't good. I've started to use Lady Juice beard bombs, and it has softened it. It is now yep. something that is comfortable on my face. Um, so definitely, highly recommend Lady Juice beard oils and beard bombs. And I'm not a beard balm fan because this is okay. So this is gonna sound funny because I made this shit. <laughs> I don't like getting it on my hands, so I'm very picky about balm uh -huh. um, and I haven't found like rubber gloves or uh, the, the the popsicle sticks to smear it in so I'm like you know yeah. what fuck it get your hands dirty yeah but um, I, I am a balm fan yeah yeah I just I don't like getting my hands dirty so I'm kind of like fuck it I won't use it yeah but when I do use it absolutely that that whole hold down mm -hmm. it's not like a face helmet but it the what you just talked about that's the whole reason we made it and the ingredients we have in it is to soften your your face mane, you know? So, anyway. I did it last week. You gotta do it again? I do it again. Yeah. It's it's one of my favorite scents. I say it every time. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Sorry, audio guy. <laughs> and the whole reason I created it was to get that type of reaction out of ladies. Shit! Not, not a sausage festival of three dudes in a closed-down gym for a podcast. Hey, so. you know, I've thought about this for a while. When you come to a gym and you want to look better, the first, the, your main thought, as for me as a straight man, is <laughs> I want women to look at me and go, damn, he's hot. You know what has happened? I've had guys come up to me and say, damn, you look good. 100%. It's, it's what happens. 100%. I had this talk with a friend of mine. Yeah? Uh, this is also going back to um, an old documentary 
uh, Greg Valentino talked about, you know, when we get into either bodybuilding or the powerlifting. Yeah. You know, as guys, we're like, oh, you know, this is them doing this for the ladies. Yeah, the ladies are going to love Ain't this. A single fucking lady <laughs> gives a shit. <laughs> fucking lady has thrown her wet panties at you because of your squat number. <laughs> like, I've never been thunked in the fucking face with wet panties because she finds out what I squatted. You know? Never. But I get no. like. And four dudes like picking me up and like carrying me out of the bar. Like, this bro, look, this is, like, oh, this is great. Where am I going? Like, you know, it's the truth. Yeah, no, absolutely. No, no women. No, no. I'm Zero. at Dunkin' Donuts all the time. You know? yeah. and none, like, they don't give a. F Those no. ladies don't give a shit. Uh -uh. They're not finger wink, uh, uh, finger wink. Uh, I wink, <laughs> finger point. Hey, lady, you know where I squat? She don't give a. F no, she don't give a shit. But that guy at Burger King gave a. F Absolutely. Like, hey, bro, what do you do? You're huge. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm a power lifter. You know what I'm saying? Like, there goes, don't give fuck, a man. Ladies don't give a shit. Dude, where do you work out? We should work out together sometime. Yeah, and that, but yeah, that's and the that response never happens I either. want. That never happens either. It's not like, hey, lady, you should come train where I train. She don't give a shit no. where I train. No. You know what happens, though? Those dudes come over, though. <laughs> so it's great for business. Yeah. Great for business. Absolutely. You know? But like, you know, 30, 30 sausages in a gym, you know? <laughs> But I don't know. It's fun. I enjoy lifting. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Help yeah. me out of the squat suit, babe. See, and it's funny. Like, no, like you, you know, because you're here. But yeah. like, raw guys, straight guys, mm -hmm. they they don't understand what it's like getting out of a squat suit. Mm. Like my very first time getting out of my squat suit was uh, my my friends Mike and John. Like literally fingers near ball sack, and I was kind of like at first I was like, you know what, guys, just I don't get like you literally, <laughs> you know, what? I don't Cut give it a off. shit. Yeah, I was like, I don't give a shit. Help me out. It hurt that bad. Get really? me out. You literally throw all your heterosexual tendencies to the wind. Yeah. And you look around, and it's literally five or six dudes trying to help you. Strangers, but it meets strangers helping me get out of my suit, and you yeah. don't give a shit, man. Yeah. Like that's uh, you know, coming back to seriousness, seriousness of it. Like uh, what I love about the sport. No, like there anybody at any time to come help you, but yeah, ain't no women. No, <laughs> ain't no goddamn women sitting out there. Be like, oh man, that mother is gonna have a hard time getting out of a squat suit. Let me go help him. <laughs> Let me throw on my heels and, and touch up my lipstick to go help Alan out of his squat suit. <laughs> you know, that never happened. Like you know. <laughs> we don't. You walk in thinking I'm doing this for the women. Yeah. No. You're doing it for the dudes. I'm gonna put this on Instagram. I'm gonna I'm gonna be blown up. My DMs are gonna be filled. Oh. Doesn't happen. Now, okay, let's let's bring it back for the ladies. And I talked. This is what I was talking to my friend. Like women do it as well. Women think, oh, you know, like whatever. They they get women. They get men as well. But yeah. it's the women, you know, that are like, hey, yeah, you know, like sexual advances, you know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, they get. Of course, women, men are gonna ogle them as well, right? But you know, you know, the sexual advances by the women. Men don't get that shit. No. Men, men don't get that shit. No. No. So. Yeah. I have a funny story, which uh, Does we it tie into uh, tie into our question. Uh, no, it doesn't. But it kind of ties into uh, what we were just talking about. So my wife Liz, uh, she put this on TikTok. Um, she <laughs> she was at a gas station last night, and whenever she's at a gas station, because she knows she's pretty, because she is, and I know she's gonna watch <laughs> this. You're really pretty, Liz. I love you. Um, <laughs> Um, she, she always is like mean mugging. Like when she goes on runs, she's just like resting bitch face because mm -hmm. she's like, I don't want anyone to come talk to me. I don't want anyone to say anything to me because she's been harassed in the past and all that sort of stuff. And so this dude pulls up in his car and goes, damn, babe, you look mean. And she goes, good. I am. Gets in the car and, wa and drives away. Badass bitch moment of the year. And it helps that she is just like, she just like knows, like, I lift heavy. I could snap you like a f***ing twig if I wanted to. Oh Get God. the f*** out of here. Of course, yeah. she wouldn't say the F word because she's a teacher and she's nice, but. <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard her drop F-bombs. Every once in a while at the gym. The, the gym is the one place where she swears. Uh, yeah. Eh, yeah. It's the surroundings. 100%. <laughs> 100%. All right, let's get into fact over fitness. Um, all right, here's one. Uh, let's go with there is such a thing as too much protein. Now, we're not doctors mm -hmm. by any means. Um, however, I've put on TikTok a couple of times what I eat in a day. And I get up to 225 grams of protein because that's what I, that, that's what 
Uh, my macro counter says I should get up to with uh, with my lean body mass kind of thing. Um, words are hard. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, I know, I know what you're saying. Yeah, I know what you're saying. How do I explain it to them? I feed the muscle that I have, and I'm trying to grow some as well. Mm -hmm. So I go... So you eat protein. I, so I eat... Uh, one food. pound, one gram of protein per lean pound of mass, essentially. Mm -hmm. And that, that, now that when you're branching off of that, when we can talk lean, you can talk total body. Um, right. Essentially, when you're eating protein, you want to talk about feeding the muscle, and if you only have X amount of pounds of lean mass, um, out of say a 200 pound individual, and you're 180 pounds of lean mass, that person would eat 180 grams of protein. Right. Another school of thought is that person weighs 200 pounds, so we're going to eat 200 grams because, you know, pound or gram per pound. Right. So there's some different thoughts on that as well. Absolutely. Um, pounds because this is America. Um, right. For the three Fuck countries. you, metric system. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say for the three countries that use the standard system. Yeah. Um, and then if you look at the math on the kilo system, it, it actually averages out. Pull your calculator up because I can't do it in my head. But I think they tell you it's like pound pound per kilogram, so it comes out to like 2.2 and yeah. a gram, whatever it is. But like everybody gets like up in a up in a fit about it because it's like, oh, you know, gram per pound is too much. But then the, when you go and do the math on the kilo, it's the same thing. Oh, the yeah. number comes out the same exact. That's why so, I can't remember if it's a half pound per kilo. I think that's going to be wrong. 2.2046. You, yeah. haven't, you haven't told yeah. me any math to do. But what I'm saying, so <laughs> if we do 200, do 200 pounds divided 200 by 2.2. 2.2. 90. You weigh 90 kilos. Yeah. So that person is going to have, um, I think, I can't remember what the math is on the kilos. Do it Do it times like 1.8. 163. Okay. And then if you do that same 200 pound person, obviously is going to be 200 because that's easy. Right. What, are, what I'm getting at is like when these people get into a fit over the kilo kilo conversion for protein, yeah. it comes out to the same f***ing number in right. the pounds. Or at least close enough. Very, yeah. So, you know, um, and sometimes you'll 0 0.8, 0 0.8 grams per pound. So mm -hmm. um, there's there's math, you mm -hmm. know, that, that you have to do. And none of it is set in stone. Um, I'm just bringing this up because I like it. I like when they argue kilos to pounds, and I'm like, it's the same. <laughs> it's, a, it's the same, same amount of protein. Same thing, bro. Yeah, you just did different math to get there. So yeah. anyway, that's why I got onto that rant. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Back to the initial question about what you what you eat, you know, what, what you, whatever your body weight is, and you're right. eating a gram per pound. Um, oh, but people say on TikTok, uh, there's no way your body can can metabolize or can can use all of that protein that are you that you're putting in your body so why are you putting that why are you wasting calories on that much protein is essentially everybody's, what everybody's body is different you're going back to some studies where they tell you that you can only process 30 grams of protein uh, per meal per hour there's there's so much verbiage dude there is um, a guy that does a really good job of explaining it in my opinion is uh, Lane Norton, mm -hmm. I think his name is Bio Lane, mm -hmm. on yep. on YouTube. At, at Bio Lane on on oh, also Instagram. That's his handle on Instagram. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Mm -hmm. He does a great job of explaining yeah. it, and, and that that there is that when it comes to protein, there are limits per hour kind of thing that he has talked about. But but even more so, just having more protein is good. That's is, that's is, what is he the essential. Um, and once again, this is an individual thing. Yeah. You know, um, what's your, what does your nutrition look like? Oh, dude. <laughs> oh I just, no. I just eat. Really? I just, you eat. don't count. You don't do anything. No. What, I, I, why? Dude, I've been doing it for so long and this is, maybe it's a cop out answer. I've been doing it for so long. I got tired of it. Yeah. I started all of this. I started all this shit in bodybuilding. Yeah. So I counted everything. Yeah. I counted all my macros, all my calories, everything. That's what I'm doing um, right now. I've gotten to the point where, you know, I chicken and rice, chicken and broccoli. You know what I mean? I, I just, I, I stay eating most of that stuff anyway. Right. Um, you are, I going, like fried chicken. I like people, but I don't live on it daily. I don't yeah. live on it you know, uh, every meal of the day, mm -hmm. you know, maybe once a week here or there. Yeah. Um, I don't, you know, I don't gravitate towards all that. Mm -hmm. You know, I do, I do like eating the healthy stuff. Well, hold on. You don't cook. No. And last I checked, your wife doesn't cook a whole lot either. She cooks. She cooks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, she can okay. cook. And she does cook. Okay. But she also on the healthy side as well. So, I mean, gotcha. you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Vegetables, rice, I thought I remembered pasta. a story where neither of you like to cook. She so. doesn't like to. She does. She okay. doesn't like to. Got it. But she's she's a good cook. Gotcha. Um, 
I don't cook just because of my schedule. Like, I mean, between being out of the house you drive morning, everywhere, dude. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't. So, I mean, you know. But, yeah. Cop out answer. I just, it's, I've done it for so long. You know, I can kind of tell you what a, you know, what a, what a chicken breast looks like and what calories are in it and mm-hmm. cup of broccoli, cup of rice. I know all that stuff. So, I can kind of, kind of eyeball and know, hey, sure. this is a plate full of f- bullshit you know <laughs> but at the same time i can look like okay you know we've done good this week all right you know piece of pie whatever yeah you know things like that for those that don't all by all means mm-hmm. count track my fitness pal we're old school right in a journal that's what i did you yeah. know for years was just journal everything the app that i use speaking of uh uh at bio lane i use his carbon diet app mm-hmm. and uh i got it for Couple reasons. Number one, it costs money, and the reason why I am okay with it costing money is because with the My Fitness Pal, because it was free, I didn't use it. Mm-hmm. I, I like was like, oh, I'm not like, uh, oh, whatever. I've got this. It's close enough. Whatever. Um, but I then put on weight that I didn't want to put on, mm-hmm. and so um, and so because it costs a little bit of money. It's like ten bucks a month, something like that. It's not not anything crazy, um, but because it costs a little bit of money. I'm like, okay, I'm putting my money into it. I got to use it. Mm -hmm. Um, So that was number one. And number two, it changes the, your calories based on how much weight you've lost during the week. So Mm -hmm. like the first week that I was on it, I was still probably bloated from, from Christmas. And I was like 280 and the first week on it, it had me 2,100 calories, 225 protein, uh, 150 carbs, 60 fat, right? That was the macros. I went a week and lost eight pounds because your body is going to fluctuate back well, to normal. You're, you're, you put yourself in a deficit and you stayed strict to stuff. Right. Mm-hmm. I lost eight pounds. So then this week, my calories were up by 300 and my protein stayed the same, but my, uh, but my carbs and my fat went up a little bit. Mm-hmm. So every week, if you're losing weight too quickly... It'll raise your calories if you adjusts. It adjusts for you. Mm-hmm. It, it, it does, does it the take math for you. into account your activity. It does. So um, if you're more active one week, or if you plan to be, does it auto adjust on it that? It doesn't auto adjust on that. Okay. Uh, I haven't found a way to to change the to change those settings. But you can input what you did for the week activity wise, and does it adjust? Uh, this one does not. This one is all diet. Okay, well, that's fine too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, this one is all diet. No, no inclusion so of do do your body weight. So it's giving you 225 grams of protein. So the yeah. original question Austin asked was: Is is there such a thing as too much protein? Yeah, uh, that's a sit on the fence answer. Yes, but it from from all the studies from all these people like this, like it would be extremely hard to get too much for you to get too much consistently. You know, everybody talks about um, the strain on your kidneys and and things like that, like. Man, we're talking like three to four grams per pound of body weight for an individual. So, two hundred yeah. pounder eating six to eight hundred pounds or uh, grams of, of protein. First off, good luck even trying. Yeah. Um, second off, even if you did hit that, good luck doing it again tomorrow. Yeah. Even even carnivore people uh, think yeah, run this, run this for me. So, just 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 use your twenty one hundred. 2,100 calories they want you to. Okay. Do 2,100 divided by four, because it's four grams um, or four calories per uh, per gram of protein. So you have 2,100 calories you're allotted a day divided by four. 525. Is 525 grams of protein. Yeah. Okay. That's if you only ate protein. Jeez. Now, that, but what we're not doing, good luck finding fat-free protein. Right. Okay. Good luck finding that. Yeah. Now, powders. Uh, Isopure. Yeah. Isopure has got absolutely nothing. Yeah. So good luck. Now, that's a 40 gram bottle. Do 525 divided by uh, 40. 13. 13 bottles a day. Could that happen? It, it might. It, it might. Um, but now do that consistently and Ugh. feel good. I don't know if you could. I don't, I don't think so either. I don't, I don't, you're talking about doing that every day mm-hmm. and feeling good and productivity it's i don't i don't see it happening probably not no but now coming back to your original question is 525 grams of protein too much for you um more than likely yes but now <laughs> and doing that consistently yes that's why i said that's going to be a yes portion to that question yeah you're doing that every day for weeks and months at a time yes that's gonna be terrible you got no carbs in your system and you got no fat in your system so now we're you no know, so that that's kind of I don't know how to how to how to say that that's like a two two pronged two pronged question it's not healthy right okay because you have nothing else in your body and yeah. now like the sustainability 
what happens when you go back and you leave that 525 grams of protein and have a carb? Like, what happens to your body? Ooh. You know? Ooh. Probably an orgasm. <laughs> You know, so just it, everywhere. It's, it's that for that that extreme of a situation. Yes, yeah. it's bad. Right. Okay. For several reasons, it's probably too much protein on your body, and you have nothing else in your body. Right. Um. So uh, would would somebody like Lane or some of these other big IFBB pros maybe recommend doing that? No, I, I could probably answer that right away. Yeah. But on the off chance of like, hey, Austin, let's cut you an extreme cut for 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 a week. 525 grams of protein, nothing else. Yeah, but man, you're gonna feel them. You're gonna yeah. feel like shit. Yeah. Now parts are gonna yeah. smell bad. Yeah, God. Yeah. Um, so on the other side of that, just normal everyday person, like you said, a gram per pound, um, which would be 280 for you, I assume. Is mm -hmm. that what you weigh? Yeah. Okay, 280, but they have you at 225. That's what I was gonna ask you to do when we started this rant. <laughs> do your body weight times 0.75 and find out what number that is. That's it. All right. Yeah. 225. It should be about 75 percent. 280. Times 0 0.75, 210. 210? Okay, so roughly. Yeah. So he has you on about three quarters of a, of a gram per pound. Yeah. Close. Close estimation. Yeah. And then the rest of your makeup is coming from carbs and fats. Yeah. So based on that, no. 225 grams of protein is not too much for your body. Right. Um, especially if we're following the adage of gram per pound. Right. Okay? So there's there's some of that answer there. There we go. Yeah, and I don't know, are we feeding all 280 pounds of Austin, or what's also, does that app take into account your lean mass? It does. 225 it, it, uh, it grams? It estimated body fat percentage. Um, so it I think it did go off of lean. Okay. So what so, was your body fat percentage? Uh, 26 at the time. Let me look at my planner. It's in here. So it says my lean body mass when I did it was 206 pounds. Okay. So essentially what that app sounds like it's doing, it is it, it is feeding your lean tissue. Yeah. A little more because 225 more than 206. It's yeah. feeding your lean tissue side. Yeah. So still, you're, you're actually now, um, you're feeding lean tissue. Right. And you're at almost a gram per pound. Yeah. And no, so you're fine. Yeah. But if you're consistent on that, plus you have other things going in. So no, and that to your TikTokers, <laughs> no, is not unhealthy. Yeah. You know, you're you're following a good plan. It, to go 525 grams of protein and we're doing two, three, four weeks forever, like type of thing. Yes. Now that's now that's extremely now that's, unhealthy. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's not con it's not it's not something that you can continue to do. I don't think so. There, there are probably people out there that could, but we we ain't doing it. Yeah. That's yeah. for sure. So all right. We got to wrap it up. We got producer Jody yelling at us. We got people coming into the gym. They want to get swole. So guess what? You can follow me at Radio Guy Austin on uh, Instagram, Twitter. You can find me on TikTok at Actually Average. This is the at Actually Average page. Alan Pilly. You can only find me at, at Alan Pilly um, on Instagram because I don't do any of that other bullshit. <laughs> and, uh, until next week, motherfuckers. That's right. See y'all.